our office has a special focus in residential project. We have always wanted that residential component in where we are. We are studios and architects. We are an architectural practice with a main focus on residential project, both uh, architecture and its interior. I'm William, I'm the principal architect. And I'm Ke Kuang, an architect with Studio Wheels. This is a typical three bedroom uh, HDB unit. So the size is around 64 square meters. You have a sense of intimacy, closeness to your neighbors. So I think it also has its own uh, set of advantages. Being architects and being the first time designing our own project, so we wanted to test out two types of spaces, an open space and a cellular space. And so as it panned out, the open space then became uh, very appropriate as an office and then the cellular space then became the home. So thus we introduced this buffer zone which gives us a physical space as well as a psychological space with our neighbour. So with the introduction of this buffer zone, naturally two access points emerged and uh, the two access point tasks uh, led to two very different spaces within the unit. So we mapped uh, what would typically be an office reception with a, a living and the two matches perfectly. And we also mapped uh, what is possibly a dining room and a meeting room and the two overlaps as well. What can possibly become a tea room uh, with a, a bedroom and it matches perfectly as well. Introduction of a window was uh, kind of to introduce some synergy between the two autonomous units. We thought that it might be interesting if they are co-owned by the same person or same family, there's some interaction going on between the two units. Uh. When it comes to cost effectiveness, I think our approach uh, is in terms of planning and also in terms of materiality. We will ask our suppliers, uh, hey, why is on clearance stock? And then we'll see whether it matches our overall design. The bathroom tiles are actually clearance stock and they are cut off at the 2.4 meter line. Within the uh, apartment, there are artworks all by Singapore artists and they all takes up uh, an architectural team uh, dealing either with spaces or materials. So it kind of serves as a reminder to us uh, the speed of renewal in Singapore and then to kind of uh, try to save whatever good buildings we have around us uh, because we believe that so long as they can be appropriated for current use, uh, I think then the chances of them uh, staying around a little bit longer is that. Good design has to be relevant to the context. Of course, it must also withstand the test of time. I also believe that good design must instigate change in a positive way and a very subtle way.